Come to the man cave. All right, Deacon. It's hot out there. Bang. Bang. Okay, uh, today, watching uh, Motocross of Nations. It's Roger DeCoster. So, I actually uh, replaced a tire for him when they were coming through San Diego in 1970, 71 or 72, I can't remember which one. So, what are we doing today? Well, we're going to the KTM Adventure Rally. My buddy Ron Sutton is coming out from St. Louis. And um, we need to, we're gonna ride to the rally, so I'm gonna be carrying my luggage. So I need to change, dismantle the 2015 and put it over there on the 2019. So uh, let me turn this thing down and we'll get started at it. Okay, there's one down. It's kind of heavy. I, so I got some gear in here, obviously. Let's put that there. We'll come over and get the other one. Okay. Well, one thing's for sure, it's going to take somebody a lot of trouble to steal your bags if you get these things fastened down enough. Okay, so that part's done. Got a lazy dog. I'm debating about whether or not to put a uh, 14 tooth counter shaft sprocket on it, but we'll we'll see. So I think what I would like to do is. Uh, I'd like to run this strap under here and right back this way. Well, we're continuing on then. I'm going to show you what I ended up with. Deacon, not that end. Oh. So, we got the saddlebags on. And from the rear, there's lots of space. They're hanging straight down. And uh, I put my tool kit on my Piran motor rack here. Um, Although I don't like weight high, I might put it in the bottom. But I basically wanted to show you how I handled the this Wolfman uh, Rocky Mountain uh, bags. So when you mount a, a Wolfman bag, they have these uh, little clips that are sitting right here that you just stuff through the um, this little loop here like this, and then you can take it off and on. Uh, fairly quickly and then when you with the the saddlebag fully up um, with it fully loaded you know then you cinch everything down then you can pull these tight and that'll keep the bag from flopping around however that never worked out very well for me um, and on the my 2015 um, when I mounted the bags using the KTM rack um, it was hanging way here and kind of bent in. It was getting close to the calipers. So what I've done, uh, well, let me go to the top. So generally, you've got these two clips that are going to, on each side, and you could run it over the top, which is supposed to keep it from falling down. But I don't like anything on the seat, and I didn't want anything under the seat. It makes it more difficult to put the seat concepts on and um, so what I did is I I just took the two straps and kind of ran it under the prone motor rack and right back to itself uh, to keep it from falling down now it should be strong enough for the amount of weight that I put in probably in the saddlebags maybe 15 pounds of clothes I normally put uh, clothes on this side um, and spare water over here i put extra dog food spare water my uh, chain lock my um, 
cover that goes over the whole entire bike. And um, so we'll see how that goes. And then, um, so I did that on both sides. And I'm trying to get um, this thing so it's really centered on the rack itself. I did have this strap going all the way here and then back. And then had this one going over the top, but it seemed to be pulling it back this way. And um, I don't know, didn't like it. Uh, and the last couple trips I took, I was carrying um, extra fuel. <clears throat> and uh, let me show you what I did here. All right. So. In the past, I, I would mount the fuel on the back, and the fuel's kind of is really heavy, right? Because that's a half a gallon of gas, which is about I don't know. Let's see, it's a seven pounds per gallon um, with the aluminum bottle that it's in, and um, but I don't think I'm going to need fuel. That's one of the reasons I like the 2019 because it has that extra half gallon and. The only time I've ever got close to running out of fuel, or when I have run out, is is uh, when I hit the 180 mile mark uh, down in Mexico. And uh, now that I can go 200 miles, I, I can make it to any gas station. Um, this is the um, my um, I, I keep my air pump and my my battery charger um, quick starter. Uh, is all in here. So I might put this in the bottom of a bag. I might put my toolbox in the bottom of the other bag and then stuff the clothes on top and kind of travel light this trip. Or I can I can strap it um, like right here, take that fuel, run this strap through the little slots here and then back around the, the, the two tubes here and that would hold the extra fuel on there Although it's still kind of high, and I don't really want to do that, but we'll see what happens. I, sh I shouldn't have to worry about fuel, uh, especially this next trip. We're going up to the KTM Adventure Rally in uh, Breckenridge. But one thing I did want to show you that is not that you don't see on the Rocky Mountain bag is I added this strap here, two of them that go underneath, and this is a again it's it's a Wolfman. Um, universal strap. I, I just, you just grab it around each corner of the, the Venacci rack. It, the Venacci is kind of nice. It has this little uh, bar here to keep things from moving back and forth. So I put that on each side, then ran that around this way, did a little cross over it, and so now when I go to fill this thing up, uh, the weight is going to be held from this strap to the top through this part down to this connector and then these two straps are keeping the bag from falling down any further than than I want it to and so I did that on both sides and I feel really good about it um, and I did that on like say both sides of this thing you see it's staying away from the muffler and I can cinch that up uh, once I get it loaded up and uh, and this relies, by the way, on the fact that on the Rocky Mountain bag has a piece of plastic that runs all the way down and back up. It's an insert, so it gives us some good body. And then I'll be uh, carrying a um, the liner on the inside of this thing. Uh, to put my clothes in, and when I get to the, the resort, right, I'll just pull the liner out and put my my stuff upstairs. I'll probably leave the dog food on the bike. So again, I might put the tools on there on the bottom. Might put my um, uh, my quick start battery um, on the other side on the bottom. Pal clothes, dog food, locks, that sort of stuff. And then and leave this side um, empty so I can swing my leg over it. So you can see that I've got the tank bag with the the sheepskin is ready for deacon. So I added a, a little bit more styrofoam up here to widen this to keep it narrow so when I stand up on it my um, my leg doesn't get in the way. 
Uh, I do have a problem with seeing the speedometer, so I'm hoping I can talk to Mike Schramm of Nomad ADV and see if I can't get another piece of this metal um, to move the speedometer up to this area here and either move the switches down here or put the um, build little box and put the switches on the sides. Uh, that'll be another development. And then one final thing I did is I added a Vietnam veteran sticker on it. You know, you run across other vets and you want to say hi, welcome home, that sort of thing. Um, so I got my hat, but uh, writing, I have no way to kind of let people know that I'm a patriot. So speaking of patriots, uh, September 11th is coming up. So I got my American flag, my police flag, my fireman flag, and I got a, a Trump Keep America Great flag up there. That's it for the this part. Thanks for watching.